All right, guys, brace yourselves. Something big just happened right now. They just released a new dev blog post. We're going to go into that in just a second here. But a brand new team is about to come out. The Black Order and is about to literally destroy the arena. So let's get into this. Let's talk about what we need for the Black Order. The four new characters that are going to be coming out and the upgrades happening to Thanos as well. So this is phenomenal, man. This is some good news here. I'm really excited about this, guys. So let's get started. All right, before we jump into the Death Black, guys, let's talk about the Black Order a little bit here. I'm not sure about your MCU knowledge or comic books. So let's just talk about them, how they formed and who they are. So as Thanos traveled throughout the vast universe and destroyed all these civilizations, every defeated civilization, he would actually adopt a tribute, which would then become part of the Black Order. And uh, these are his generals. They would uh, help him conquer the world and find the infinity stones and then obviously battle the avengers so the black order is made of corvus glaive he's the leader his wife is praxima midnight ebony maw and corvus's brother black dwarf who's also called obsidian in the movie if you watch the movie but in the comic the whole group is called call obsidian so that's a little bit of a trick thing there there's also another uh, character in the black order in the comic books um super giant but that that's not mentioned in this dev blog and that's not going to be released anyway so we're not going to talk about her at all here so so that's just a little small overview of who the black order is they're just basically thanos's conquered victims that he adopts takes on his side and then they help him conquer the world also the same kind of thing happened with gamora and nebula if you watch the movies you know he destroyed their hometowns and then he would take them as a trophy and then made them into his children so kind of the same thing with the black order there guys so let's get into this dev blog post so infinity gauntlet form of thanos is just announced right now guys it's saying prepare for thanos and his team the black order is going to be released the power of the black order is going to overwhelm and they're set to just dominate the arena so this is phenomenal sounding like this is going to be the new meta arena team here all around. So I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to deal with Phoenix and Black Bolt and everybody else in there. So let's just keep going here and let's take a look at what's about to happen. All four members of the Black Order each grant Infinity Stones during battle for Thanos' gauntlet. When he has all the Infinity Stones requiring all four Black Order members, Thanos becomes empowered which unlocks a new set of powerful abilities. The, so the four members of the Black Order are Proxima Midnight, Corvus Glaive, Cole Obsidian, and Ebony Ma. And they're set to release in the next two updates here. So this is huge news, guys, already right off the bat here. I mean, they just literally announced basically four new characters that they're going to be releasing, probably on top of other characters that will come out in between as well. So that's a lot. They also talk about Thanos becoming empowered, which unlocks us a whole new set of abilities for him. So he's kind of go through a transformation, maybe like Phoenix style or something like that. And I'm guessing this empowered state of Thanos is just probably unstoppable, destroys everything in his path. So I'm pretty excited about that, man. All right, now they talk about Ebony Maw is going to be the newest legendary member of the Black Order. He's Thanos' right-hand general. So, in order to recruit him, though, this is the tricky part. You need Black Bolt and the other four in humans at five stars minimum. Now, this is a little bit difficult, guys. I mean, uh, Black Bolt it himself is a legendary, which you need as guardians. So, you're going to need... Basically, you're going to need as guardians first... Then you need to unlock Black Bolt and Inhumans in order to get Ebony Maw. Alright guys, so post-production now, I'm just realizing what I said there in the video. So there's actually six Inhumans, guys. Don't forget, Black Bolt is the sixth. He's legendary. So you're going to be able to get Ebony Maw with the other five Inhumans, alright? So don't stress it. Don't worry about it. You don't need as good as don't need those guys. So back to the video. This kind of just tells me that this guy is going to be phenomenal. He's going to be really powerful. And this team is going to be insanely good. If it takes this much resources and, uh, you know what I mean, it's going to take a long time for newer players to be able to get this guy. So he's bound to be phenomenal. That's just kind of my uh, opinion on him right now before even looking at anything, you know, about him yet. So if Ebony Maw is going to be the legendary, I'm assuming that the other three characters are going to be probably released in different ways. Uh, one Blitz, one Campaign, who knows, maybe one Raid. Hoping, uh, we'll see how the other ones get released, but all, all in all, you're going to need all five members here to probably make a really insanely powerful arena team that's probably going to run the arena for the next six months or so, I'm assuming. 
So I'm very, very excited about that, guys. Uh, personally, I can't wait. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait for these guys to be released and get them all together here. Now, let's take a look at what else they talked about in this dev block. So they go into Red Skull here and they introduce, uh, reintroduce all of his tags and all of his abilities here. So we already know what this guy does. Phenomenal war defense is going to be awesome. If you need to look at that, you know, you can go ahead and look at him. And you can also check out the Hydra minions that all got little upgrades here. So I'm also crazy excited about this guy too because uh, he's going to have a pretty powerful war defense. And uh, it's always good stacking up those war defenses for sure. Next up, they go into the next couple of blitz that we expect to see. So one of them here is going to be a four leaf blitz. Now this one is going to be a little bit of a different uh, blitz here since St. Patrick's Day is coming. So they want to kind of celebrate Irish culture. So the four leaf blitz is going to be a three day blitz and you're going to be earning clover orb fragments by battling milestone rewards and rank rewards. There will not be a top 2000 for this blitz as reward will only be out according to your percent rank okay so top percentage gets paid out if you haven't guessed already the clover orb will contain select characters that have either green skin or clothes excluding hulk so hulk will not be included which kind of sucks because let's face it this guy is the greenest thing in the whole game but that's fine uh everybody needs some gamora orbs anyways and then right after that one we're gonna have another blob blitz coming around so that's pretty cool I'm excited about another blob blitz so that's probably when a lot of people are going to be able to uh summon blob also announcing villains chapter 7 is going to be released probably in this next update here so that's fantastic i'm pretty excited about that so this is your chance to get hella rescue is going to be in there as well superior basic catalyst power up with villains for a chance to grab gear and character shards in the following nodes all right, so the superior basic catalyst of villain 7.3, Hella will be 7.6, Rescue 7.9. So that's actually pretty good, guys. A lot of people are having a hard time getting rescue out of the Blitz orbs. So I like that they're both Hella and Rescue, pretty good heroes to get. And then these are the teams that you should be focusing on for these ones. You're going to need from 1 to 3, Sinister 6, Hydra or AIM, 4 to 6, Mystic, and 7 to 9, Villains no other trait required okay so that's pretty good so seven to nine should not be that bad if you can use any villains so that's basically it for that one and then they also mentioned that black bolt will be coming around mid april again so get your asgardian team ready so i've been working on my asgardians as much as i can hella will definitely help out her release plus those hundred shards that we were able to get or we are getting right now so that's definitely going to help sif is going to take a little bit longer though that's for sure but i'm on my way there for a seven star black bolt there's also mentions of a little fantastic bonus event there to celebrate our boy tadano mac japan we're going to get 24 hours of times two mr fantastic shards at nexus 5.9 so i've been working on my mr fantastic there so that'll help out a little bit i mean one day of uh, grinding for one hero doesn't really help out a lot but it helps out a little bit so we'll take it and then they end off the blog post talking about it's almost anniversary time guys marvel strike force anniversary is on the way and we've got a lot of fun activities and giveaways planned to help us blow out the candles blow it right out of the water we'll have more information soon so we can be look we can be on the lookout for that so i'm excited about that free black bolt for everybody guys Woo <laughs> that's what we need but um Anyways, I'm excited for the anniversary coming up and the release of all these new characters coming. I know that a lot of people don't really like him, but I'm personally really excited, guys. I want to see what this Black Order can do and uh, maybe see if this is going to be my new best team. I'd be really excited to use this team in the arena. But anyways, I'm also going to end it off here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. A lot of cool things coming up, guys. And stay tuned for a lot of great Marvel Strike Force content coming your way, guys. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you didn't. That helps out your boy. And uh, that's about it, guys. I will check you on the next video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.